So principle two of three, I show, talk to you about building your financial house. I think that's a key. You need to build it. That can be difficult to do. What I want to convince you of is not burning it down, which sounds really axiomatic. It's like, why would we want to burn it down? It happens really quickly. And I'm using this as a metaphor for credit. Because in today's society, if we want stuff, if you know, we want to have a house before we're 50, we need credit. So some little mistakes that we can make can burn it down really, really quickly. Now I talked to you about this, and it's one of my principles, because those that have poor credit in today's society, I really believe, are the new pariah. They're the outcast. You can't even buy a sandwich or a drink on, on a flight if you don't have a major credit card. You can't book that flight or go on a holiday if you don't have a major credit card. Do not discount the little things that you do. Do not discount if you only have $25 a month to put away or to pay down on your debt. That's the little things that build that solid financial foundation that I was talking to you about before, about why lottery winners don't keep their money. Now, I know what a lot of you are saying. I don't have any money at the end of the month. Honestly, Kelly, I don't. I hear people tell me this all the time. You don't understand what it's like in my household. We're barely making ends meet. And that's what these guys said too. Elton John and Nicolas Cage. Okay? They, they, if they met me, they would have said the same thing. Elton John got off touring, and he thought that his business manager and accounting firm absconded with 29 million dollars, took him to court, spent 10 million dollars in legal fees to get these guys get his money back. You know what the court found out? He actually blew through 60 million dollars in two years. There was no misappropriation of funds. He just blew right through it. And lesson number five, use cash once in a while. Once in a while for your sake, for the sake of your, your kids, Use it once in a while because a part of our brain actually lights up when we're taking cash out of our wallet, when we're taking cash out of our purse because it's a loss. We're actually losing something for something. But when we take this little piece of plastic and just punch in numbers with debit or credit, our brain doesn't light up at all. It just keeps sailing on because <laughs> $800 doesn't seem like a big deal when I'm just inserting my little card or now for purchases under $50, if you have a major credit card, you just tap and go. You just tap and go. It's no big deal. But when you're using cash and you have $100 in your wallet and you see how quickly that leaves it, it makes it more real. So once in a while, use some cash.